So in this video, we'll be discussing the dependence of pressure on elevation. So in this particular problem, we will uh, refer to uh, the pressure equation, P is equal to P0 plus rho GH. So this is a fluid mechanical equation that is applicable to gases as well. Because gases are fluids. So for liquids, where this equation is usually applied, okay, makikita mo na yung reference okay, height dito ay sa surface ng liquid. Kasi kapag nandito yung liquid particle mo, ang pressure lang na na-experience niya ay yung pressure from the outside or the atmospheric pressure, P0. So, P is equal to P0 kapag ka nasa surface ka. Pero kapag ka nandito ka nasa middle or sa bulk, mararamdaman mo na rin yung pressure ng mga nasa itaas na particles. So, the particles above you also exert pressure. So, denoted yan by the rho GH. So, the rho is the density of the liquid, g is the acceleration due to gravity, and the h is the displacement from the reference, which is the h is equal to zero at the surface. Okay? So, for gases naman, ang reference mo naman dito ay yung sea level na tinatawag na dito. Okay? So, at sea level, the pressure is at maximum. Okay? Yun yung pinakamataas sa pressure. Kasi, yung buong uh, fluid, yung weight ng buong fluid na yun. Yun yung na-experience ng gas particle sa sea level. However, if you go from sea level, tapos nag-increase ka ng uh, elevation, okay, nababawasan yung iyong uh, pressure. Okay? So that pressure is denoted by P0 minus rho GH. Kasi yung direction mo naman ng H dito, or yung height, is negative. So as you can see dito, from the reference, mababa, dito naman, height is equal to 0, pataas. Kasi if h is equal to 0, this value uh, vanishes. So, p not lang yung uh, matitira. So, nababawasan yung p not kapag ka umaakyat yung particle or kapag ka nag increase yung elevation. So, how do we uh, illustrate this using the ideal gas model? So, magde-derive tayo ng equation para explicitly natin makita yung dependence ng pressure sa elevation. So, that equation is called the Boltzmann Barometric Distribution. Okay? So, start muna tayo dun sa equation. P equals P0 minus rho G H. Okay? So, assuming that the density of the gas does not um, affect the changes in the pressure and the elevation, so, kukunin natin yung derivative. DP is equal to negative rho G DH. Okay? So, this is DP. This is dH, so the height changes with pressure, okay? Or the pressure changes with the height, okay? So substitute natin yung value or yung expression for the density in terms of the ideal gas equation. So, paano natin ulit to nakuha? From PV is equal to nRT, okay? So this n is m over the molar mass, okay? So makukuha natin dito ay PV is equal to M over the molar mass RT. Okay? Then, we will get the value of the M over V, which is your density. So, M over V, which is the density, is equal to the pressure times the molar mass over RT. Okay? So, this PM over RT will be substituted to this equation. So, PP is equal to negative P M over RT G DH. Okay? So, yan na yung ating uh, differential equation. So, DP is equal to negative PM over RT G DH. So, yung pressure dito, ilalagay natin sa left side. So, DP over P is equal to M G over RT DH. So, we can now integrate this uh, expression Okay, so, integrate natin both sides. So, syempre, mag-start tayo from zero kasi ang reference natin ay yung uh, sea level to a certain height na kung ano man yung iset natin. Syempre, at height equals zero, the pressure is the atmospheric pressure or P0 up to a certain pressure na kailangan natin i-determine at a certain height. So, P over P0 ln, that's the integral of the left side expression, is equal to negative m g over RT, okay, times H. 
Okay? So, that is the Boltzmann Barometric Distribution Equation. So, i -re rearrange ko lang to to explicitly um, show the def dependence of pressure on height. So, P is equal to P0 E to the negative Mg H over R. The M here, okay, is the molar mass. So, the molar mass should be uh, in the units of kilogram per mole. Okay? So, ito, uh, ito yung aking mga recommended units para hindi na kayo masyadong nag-convert-convert pa ng units after the calculation. So, mas maganda na i-convert nyo na yung uh, mga values bago nyo siya i-incorporate dun sa equation. So, G... Okay, this is 9.81 meters per second squared sa acceleration due to gravity. The R that we will use is in terms of joules, that's 8.314 joules per mole Kelvin. Okay, and the temperature ang gagamitin nyo ay in Kelvin. Okay, so the pressures, dapat pareho sila. So regardless of the unit, dapat pareho lang din sila because... This E, okay, is dimensionless. So, for example, kung atmosphere ito, atmosphere lang din ito. So, the value of this will depend on the initial. Okay? So, this particular equation here is now what you call the Boltzmann barometric distribution. Boltzmann barometric distribution. equation. So, that equation, again, explicitly relates the height or the elevation of the gas to its pressure. Okay? So, sample problem. At sea level, the temperature is 30 degrees Celsius and the percent relative humidity is 90%. Calculate the density of water vapor at 400 meters above sea level. So, from the uh, percent relative humidity, makakalculate natin yung pressure ng water. Okay? And from that pressure, makakalculate naman natin yung pressure niya at 400 meters above sea level. So, from the pressure, makakalculate natin yung density. Okay? So, step by step. First, calculate natin yung pressure ng water. So, the percent relative humidity is equal to 100% times P of H2O. That's the pressure that we are looking for over the saturated vapor pressure. So, according to the data, makikita natin na 31.8 millimeters mercury ang saturated vapor pressure ng water at 30 degrees Celsius. So, the pressure of water, pag kinalculate nyo na, 28.62 millimeters mercury. So, pag kinonvert nyo to sa uh, atmospheres, so you'll get 0 0.0377 atmospheres. So the next step is to calculate the pressure of water at 400 meters above sea level. So the formula is P is equal to P naught E to the negative MGH over RT. So the initial pressure is 0 0.0377 atmospheres as calculated above. Okay, so yung M natin is 18.016 grams per mole. That's the molar mass of water. So take note, pwede nyo siyang i-convert to kilograms per mole. Okay, para mas convenient yung inyong substitution dito sa values ng uh, parameters nyo dito sa equation. So G is 9.81 meters per second squared. You'll use R is equal to 8.314 joules per mole. So, kapag na-substitute nyo na properly yung values, including the 400 meters here, okay, makakalculate nyo yung pressure as 0 0.0367 atmospheres. So, pansin nyo, mas mababa yung value ng 0 0.0367 sa 0 0.0377 atmospheres. Okay? Kasi as you increase the elevation, again, okay, bababa yung kanyang pressure. So, calculate the density of water vapor in the... Uh, Elevation, 400 meters above sea level. So, using this equation, rho is equal to the pressure of H2O at uh, 400 meters times the molar mass of H2O. This is 18.016 grams per mole over RT. So, temperature is 30 degrees Celsius. So, you'll get 0 0.0266 grams per liter. Okay? So, ganito nag-work out usually mga problems sa Boltzmann Barometric Distribution Equation. Okay, so see you next video.